Hello everyone and welcome to the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. On today's episode we're looking at Topaz Studio 2, working our way down through all the filters. We're in the stylistic section. Today we're looking at the smudge filter and uh, it's a really nice filter. It's a great filter for adding like smoothness to water and skies in your photographs and it's also good for uh, making stylized artistic looking images. So let's take a look at it. We're starting out today inside of Photoshop. Here's my background layer. We're going to take this uh, wave image and turn it into a more stylized looking image. Uh, the first thing I want to do is duplicate my background layer. That's Command J in a Mac, Control J in a PC. This way we can work non-destructively and that's very important. Let's come up to our uh, menu bar and click on Filter and come down to Topaz Studio and find Topaz Studio 2 and give that a launch. All right, now that we're inside of Topaz Studio 2, let's take a look at this smudge filter. Oh, before we do, I want to show you something here. If you come up to the help screen, they've added this user gu user's guide, which is really nice. Give that a click. That'll take you to the internet and take open up the user's guide online. And inside of here, you'll see the Topaz Studio 2 user guide, and you have all kind of information in here, so give that a look. Let's come to the filters here and give that a click. And let's take a look inside here. Let's come down to the stylistic filters and let's open that up and see what we got here. So we list all our stylistic filters and it gives you all kind of information about the uh, that particular filter that you're looking for. It gives you some before and after images so you can get an idea what that filter might do for you. And then you, can, then you can just come here and click on the filter you want to look at. Let's go to Smudge. Now, when I click on Smudge, there's a little bug here. It doesn't go to Smudge. So let's go to Radiance. I know Radiance works. And Smudge is right under Radiance. So let's take a look here. So it tells you what Smudge is. When should I use Smudge? Uh, what are the options in Smudge? Smudge is nice. It only has uh, three sliders, but they're powerful. Strength, Extent, and Sharpness. And so you could take a look and see what all that stuff does. So I just wanted to point that out to you. And let's go back here and let's come here and add filter and come down and find the smudge filter and open that up. And of course we have the opacity, the blend modes, this little icon. If you come up with a nice setting here, you can save it as a preset. So click on that preset icon. Uh, you can reset smudge with this little icon right here. You can come down to presets. Uh, they give us four presets. Hopefully they'll add some more. You can add, make your own presets as well. Today we're just going to look at the filter itself. We're not going to use a preset. So if you click this preset section here, the presets will hide. All right, so now let's go with the strength first. Let's start out with strength. Let's start to move it to the right and see what it does. As you can see, the image starts getting smudgy looking. Now let's continue to move it the whole way up. For now, I like it the whole way to the right because look at the sky. I love, what's I love what it's doing to the sky and I love what's happening to the foreground in the water here. But I'm not so happy with what's happening on the wave itself. So I'm going to do this uh, image in three different with three different smudge filters, okay? So there we go. Now let's look at the extent. Now if we move the extent to the left, it'll get more of a, uh, I'll call it a turbulent look. Not quite as smudgy, but more turbulent. And that looks really cool in the wave there, so bear that in mind. Now let's move it to the right and see what happens. And watch this section right in here, how it changes as I move this to the right. And that looks, that's really nice. The nice flow in here and everything that's happening is really cool. Okay, so I'm going to leave that to the right for now. And now let's look at the sharpness. So if we move it to the right, it's going to sharpen up the edges and things like that. And so... You can keep moving it the whole way up and but I like it like I like it like right around in here I think looks really nice okay but for now I'm going to take the sharpness the whole way down because in my second uh, smudge filter we're going to work with the sharpness now what I need to do is come up to the uh, smudge layer and click on the layer mask right here and then what I want to do is get a pen or a brush I should say and the transparency needs to be set to black and you can slide this transparency slider and go through all different various shades of grays to black and to white so we want it on black let's adjust our radius size and i'm thinking maybe right around there i'm going to leave the softness at uh, 50 and the edge where i'm going to turn it off so i have a nice smooth gradient edge and what i want to do is 
Again, like I said, I like what's happening up in the sky in the foreground. So what I want to do is remove that effect from the water here. This whole section of the wave in here. Okay, I'm just painting away, getting rid of it all. I think the whole way up into here. All right. And also I want to take off the effect on this nice little splash that this wave is making right here. Right in there. Okay, and I think that's looking pretty good. All right, so now we're gonna add another smudge filter. So let's come up to add filter and come down and smudge. Now we're working on this part of the wave right in here, the smoothness of this wave here. I wanna get a nice smooth running lines through here, okay? We're gonna use a smudge filter to get it, so we're gonna take that strength, move it the whole way to the right, and then watch this area again in here. I'm going to take the extent, move it the whole way over, and we're getting that nice flowing line feel through here. And let's just take the sharpness up a little bit just to define those lines ever so slightly. We want to keep it smooth looking, but right around in there, I think looks really good. And now what we need to do is come up to the top smudge layer, click the layer mask on. We need to change this layer mask to black to hide the adjustment. So we come to these three dots right here. Click that, come to invert, click invert, come to the brush, get a brush tool. This time, move the transparency slider to the right so we get a white brush. Readjust our radius, make sure we get it right where we want it to be. Softness at 50, I usually leave it there, and the edge of wear off. Okay, and now what I want to do is paint those nice flowing lines in here. I want to reveal those through, but I don't want to touch any other part of the image, okay? So let's take a look and see what we got. Okay, and this little bit of spray, I just want that to go away up here. I want to keep this in that smoothness, that smooth look up in here. So that's looking pretty good right in here. Right around here, I think looks good. That looks nice. Okay, so that's the second uh, smudge filter. So now let's come up and grab a third smudge filter. So come up to add filter. Come down to smudge, give it a click. And now we're going to work on this section right in here. So we're going to take our strength and move it to just a little bit, not the whole way to the right. I almost said the whole way to the right. Now take our extent in. And see that nice look we're getting in here, that nice turbulent look, real painterly looking. We might even want to bump the sharpness up a little bit. Not too much, but we want to keep the softness to the image. But maybe right around in there looks really good. Okay, so now we want to come back up because I don't like what's happening to the rest of the image. So we're going to come back to the layer mask and we're going to invert our layer mask again. So we come and invert it, grab our brush and take the transparency the whole way to the right, adjust our radius to the size we want, take our edge of wear off. And now let's just paint that turbulence in here, right in this section in here. We overdo it, we can readjust because we're just painting painting with a paintbrush. We can just change our color to black and get rid of stuff that we don't want. But I think we're pretty good. Maybe what I'll do is let me go to transparency black and just I just want to paint up and maybe paint here a little bit. Now it looks pretty good right there. Okay, so. Let's come back to smudge and let's see if I need to readjust this a little bit. Let's look at our sharpness here. Do I want to take the sharp? Yeah, I might want that sharpness up just a little bit more. And I can tweak the extent here a little bit. Let's click on the eyeball. There's without it and with it. That looks really nice. So we maintain the smoothness of our sky. And also in the foreground, we added this nice flow to the wave here. And we added some detail in here. And we kept... The detail up on the splash of the wave. So I think that turned out really nice. All we need to do is come up here to the left upper side of the screen and come to accept and that'll take us back into Photoshop. So now we can come to layer one, click its eyeball. There's the before and there's the after. Well, I'm really happy with these results. You guys got to give this a try. It's a really cool filter and it's simple to use. Well, there was a smudge filter. It's really interesting. I love the results you get with it. It's a lot of fun to play with, so give it a try. I think you'll really like it. If you like this video today, please give it a like and share it with your friends. If you're not yet subscribed to my channel, please do so and click the bell notification icon. This way you'll be informed of all the new training videos that I'm putting out. 
Well, thank you very much for joining me again today on The Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly, and I'll see everyone right here next time.